Hello, my name is Lucy Asfat, and I'm an adjunct professor at Concordia University, Chicago, Illinois in the United States. I reside in North Carolina. I teach graduate students in the field of education, and I also advise students who are working on their graduate degrees. I am married and have two children and five grandchildren. You will see my husband and I and our five grandchildren in the center picture. I do like to travel. The picture on the left is me in Washington, DC, standing next to a statue of Eleanor Roosevelt. And on the right is a picture of me last year receiving a service award from the Ohio Association of Elementary School Administrators. I'm so happy to be a part of your learning process and this through this seminar. And the topic that I'm going to focus in on today is the literature review. So what is literature? Literature is the collection of information in a specific topical area of research. A literature can re a review can include all of the sources found on the slide, as well as others, maybe from government and professional organizations. What does it mean to review the literature? Well, reviewing the literature means becoming very well read in a chosen research topic. Through these readings, you will learn and identify what has already been established, accepted, or not accepted regarding a topic. You may discover areas of controversy or disagreements. You may find problems or issues that are still in need of further study. You may be able to identify emerging trends or new approaches. Your research goal is ultimately to contribute to the knowledge base on your topic. But a literature review is more than just a summary of the resources that you have read. You will formulate your own responses to these research studies and justify how your research topic will contribute to this larger body of knowledge. Your literature review should discuss relationships. What is the relationship between the sources that you are reading? What has been done in the past? What do scholars say about your topic? What are the ongoing debates about your topic? What ideas do you agree or disagree with? Why or why not? What hasn't been said about your topic? You will use the common elements or themes from your readings to organize your own literature review chapter, but you must have sufficient references to establish your own foundational, foundational knowledge on the topic. As I have been stating, the literature on any topic is an evolving network of scholarly work that interacts with each other. But research is not one straight line. Lots of different storylines exist for each topic. You will begin your literature review journey by seeking both primary and secondary sources of information on your topic. Primary is the original research study. From these primary sources of research, as indicated by that large blue oval on the center of the screen, many other secondary pieces of literature are created. Primary sources contain firsthand information, meaning that you are reading the author's own account on a specific topic or research event that he or she participated. Use primary sources to obtain that firsthand account on research completed in your field. For some of your papers, use of primary resources will be a requirement. The main formats of primary research include original documents such as diaries, speeches, manuscripts, letters, interviews, records, eyewitness accounts, autobiographies. Empirical scholarly work such as research articles, clinical reports, case studies, dissertations, journal articles, technical reports from research institutions or educational organizations, creative works such as poetry, music, video, photography. Secondary sources describe, summarize, or discuss information or details originally presented in another source, meaning the author in most cases did not participate in the event. 
This type of source is written for a broad audience and will include definitions of discipline-specific terms, history relating to the topic, significant theories and principles, and summaries of major studies or events as related to the topic. Use secondary sources to obtain an overview of the topic and also to identify primary resources. On the reference page of your secondary source should be, um, primary sources should be included on those on that reference page. As a researcher, you need to ensure your secondary sources are drawing the appropriate conclusions from the data. When in doubt, always read the original research topic. Examples of secondary sources include publications such as textbooks, magazine articles, book reviews, commentaries, encyclopedias, almanacs, and literature reviews. Since you, will begin, since you will be integrating others' research into your own research process, it is suggested you establish a literature search strategy. You can create such a strategy by identifying the main concepts from your topic. An electronic search of various online databases is a trial and error process, and you will soon determine what keywords will lead you to the literature you need for your research. You cannot write the introduction for your dissertation or thesis until you have established foundational knowledge on your topic, which is why the search process is so important. Your introduction will establish the importance of your topic, as well as explain the history and present state of your research pro process. The literature review chapter of your dissertation or thesis will provide a context for your research as you analyze, synthesize, and evaluate the existing body of knowledge on your topic. The literature review chapter should also include the theoretical and conceptual framework for your research. In addition, the various methodologies and designs that have been used in previous research related to your study should be discussed. You will then use this information to justify your own research design and the means that you will use to collect data. In the final chapter of your thesis or dissertation, you are sharing how your research contributed to the body of knowledge on the topic and how you have continued the storyline established by the previous researchers. As you begin the research journey, you will need to create a process to not only search for the research you need, but you need a framework for how to read these literature sources. Evaluating scholarly writing requires a structure. I found these questions by Teresa Schellenbarger to provide a good framework for student researchers. Some of the questions to ask are listed on this slide. These are not the only questions to ask. You might ask, you might add additional questions aligned to your specific research topic. Another tip is to be sure to capture relevant direct quotations from the sources that are especially pertinent to your own research topic. You will also need to organize your sources in order to extrapolate the necessary information needed to create a written synthesis and analysis and evaluation of what others have written about your topic. Another organizational tool you might use throughout your research process is called a literature or synthesis matrix. The literature or synthesis matrix will help you organize your information and enhance the writing process. It is basically a table that summarizes key components from your readings. The chart will allow you, the researcher, to sort and categorize information that will be needed as you begin to write your literature review. This visual representation of your sources will help you understand how your studies relate to each other and ultimately to your research. You may also use this tool to identify the gaps in the knowledge and justify why your research will help fill those gaps. In the first column, the full citation is included. This is really important as you begin to um, organize all of your references that will be included on your reference page. 
The problem statement or purpose of the study should be identified. That helps you determine what gaps each researcher was trying to fill. Including the theoretical or conceptual framework will allow you to see the lens that the researchers use to conduct their research. What theoretical understandings frame the research, each of these research pieces? The research question should be aligned with descriptive or experimental research. Descriptive research questions ask what is happening? How is it happening? Why is it happening? Whereas experimental research would ask, does something cause an effect? It will be important to ascertain whether the research design of the study matched the research questions. In primary research, you should be able to read enough details about the full method. In secondary research literature, you may not have that information but you definitely want to identify who participated in the study and how they were selected. What data was collected and how, what instruments did they use to collect that data? All of these, all of these um, areas will help you identify validity and reliability. Does the research that you have been reading align with others in the field? This is important in terms of your synthesis and evaluation. I like to include limitations because maybe there's a researcher bias or a population sample was very small. Limitations are things that might impact the conclusions reached. Perhaps there were influences from other events impacting the researcher. Could there be an explanation for the results other than the conclusions stated by the research? Use this organizational system because this would be very beneficial throughout your whole research process. These are the headings you might want to use for your literature matrix. However, these are only suggestions. What information you choose to capture will align to your specific topic. Remember, the literature review is more than just a chapter that needs to be included in your thesis or dissertation. An important function of the literature review, according to Miriam and Tisdale, is to provide the foundation for contributing to the knowledge base. In order to do this, you need to be a scholar before a researcher. Best wishes for a successful research journey. <music>